natural. We don't try and sound like something, you know? It's just how we play. That's the way it comes out. We're not trying to manufacture something. It just sort of comes out more uh, I don't know. I always used to actually, when I would be jamming with friends, they would tell me to sing more like a girl because I guess my voice isn't the typical indie soft voice. So, I don't know, I always just, I, I took musical theater, like I did a lot of musical theater type stuff when I was younger, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. And uh, I was brought up listening to older music as well from my parents, so I don't know if I subconsciously just sort of adapted my voice to that, or if it just is that way, I'm not sure. I think someone, I just read the other day, this thing someone wrote about us, and they compared us to Pains of Being Pure at Heart, which kind of works, I guess. Uh, I mean, they're a great band, too. Um, but I think, yeah, we like, kind of come from a similar kind of uh, headspace in terms of the music we, we both make. So I guess that would work. Um, apart from that, uh, Stereo Lab means bus dogs. In an alley. It's basically about unrequited love. <laughs> It's like when you're at a bar and you see that person that you've liked or you've been hooking up with, but it's just not, you know what I mean? Either they're not being responsive or it's just not working. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you <laughs> Yeah, it's about pining, I guess. Yeah, pining away for, for something that's not going to happen. It's about being busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're kind of an indie pop band, but uh, at the same time, we kind of don't really like stay very true to that. Like, we, yeah. We kind of we have a bit of an edge, maybe that isn't in indie pop yeah. sometimes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, generally indie pop, I'd like, say. <laughs> Definitely not al alternative. No. no. That's don't ever use that word in, if you're writing an article. Don't ever use alternative. Please, Again, I hate that. Word. It's gotta die. Alternative, alternative rock. Alternative rock. Okay. It died with a great shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like sometimes alternative rock is like everything, like saying nothing, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like, so what kind of, what kind of, uh, what do you sound like? I sound like music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's every kind of style because Toronto is the big city, so every small town band comes to Toronto. So you could go to a bar and see a band, and they're not even from Toronto. They're from two hours outside of Toronto, but they come here, you know. I don't know if there's a rivalry musically. I think politically and language wise, there's a rivalry. But, but uh, musically, no, I think they're pretty supportive. Like, you know, all the shows I've played in other bands in Montreal, they're very friendly and receptive to Toronto bands. I mean, if you talk to them after, they may have a bit of an attitude because you're from Toronto or whatever, or we may do the same. But I don't think there's a musical rivalry going on. Uh, I think the scenes are pretty similar to you. Like, uh, bands that I've seen from Montreal, especially in Toronto, sound like they could be from Toronto, you know? So maybe they're just ripping us off, and that's why, <laughs> that's why we're not mad. Uh, yeah, we're still very much... Yeah. <laughs> we just all have day jobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty pretty small time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know. I mean, I think that our primary goal uh, when we started jamming, and I think this is why it's been successful for us, is that none of us were concerned with commercial success. We all just wanted to make really great music together and just sort of 
you know, clicked for all of us. I mean, if something happens, that's amazing, but right now I'm just happy to be jamming with these guys. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Buy records uh, as opposed to digital music. I mean, they probably buy both, but they prefer uh, vinyl. Uh, we played in New York recently, and someone said to me that uh, indie pop is is the punk music of today. And I didn't really understand what they meant because indie pop doesn't sound very punky to me. But it's all about seven inches. There wasn't really a scene that the the primary delivery of music was seven inch was punk and now it's indie pop like all the bands that we, we played with at the uh, the pop fest in new york city all had seven inches yeah. basically like so the i think the people that would like our music would definitely be record people and not digital people there's something about having a record in your hands and being able to put it on on your record player at home as opposed to just having a threes or a cd that's going to get scratched it's what you think, it's what you know, it's what you think here when I go. It's what you think, it's what you think, it's what you know, it's what you know, it's what you think here when I go. It's what you think, it's what you think, it's what you know, it's what you know, it's what you think here when I go. Why was that? The bus caught on fire. <laughs> Whoa! We were, yeah, we were delayed at the border for five hours. We finally left at 5 a.m. We were supposed to be in New York two hours later. And then our bus burned down when we were <laughs> like an hour and a half inside of New York City. I think they wanted us to be, to play well. I think they expected us to uh, deliver the goods. You know, I think we did. I think we, we wanted a lot of people over. It's kind of, you know, more nerve-wracking to play in, in New York than Toronto because you're playing to your friends, you know, and in, in New York you're just playing to a bunch of strangers, but uh, I think they liked us, so that's that was a success, definitely, but uh, you're definitely trying to play your best to impress them, I guess. I think maybe a full-length album is our, is our, next, yeah. our next thing, hopefully... Uh, some some more dates outside of Toronto, and uh, yeah, just a full length album, I guess, would probably be the next big thing from us. I think maybe if we could get interest in a song from uh, the album that we're, we're gonna make, then if uh, you know, it's kind of things like the al if the album does well, then you get all kinds of strange offers from from everybody, yeah. and if it just comes and goes, then you know, like we're certainly not gonna. I think like put a bunch of money together to make a video, yeah. but uh, if we get like a grant or something, yeah. or if the government gives us money, then we'll make you know a hundred videos <laughs> in the next thriller. You know? <laughs> that works. The government can give you money for that. Yeah, if, you, yeah. if you write a proposal and they accept it, they'll they'll give you money to make a video. Yeah. <laughs> 